As I was working out, it made me think about something. Like when I'm training, I'm a different beast. Like I'm confident, I feel like I'm unstoppable. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe it's not training for you, maybe it's when you're cooking or maybe it's when you're creating. Just that moment where you feel like, it does, you feel so fearless. Like you don't care what comes against you, you feel like you're unstoppable. And it had me thinking like about my most confident times in my life. And football was one of them. I feel like you put any DB, Deion Sanders, it didn't matter, even though it was, even if it was true or not, but you put anybody in front of me, I felt like I was unstoppable. I walked in maximum confidence. But then I started thinking about times in my life when I wasn't that person. When I was a person that was walking in fear, walking in stress, when I was walking timid. And I wanna share this with you. I feel like we all have three versions of ourselves. Some of us have more than that, but three versions of ourselves. We have the normal, regular version, that's just the everyday person, which is needed. Then we have the fearful version, the timid version, the version that looks at their limitations, the version that looks at the, the version that looks at their, their limits, their fears and their doubts, and that controls them. Then we have this other version, the unstoppable version, the confident version, the warrior version, the soldier version. And I started to understand that certain environments brought that person out. So I want to talk about alter ego for a minute. And I'm not trying to tell you to be something that you're not. But we all have an alter ego. You look at Steph Curry. This guy on the basketball court is an assassin. Off the court, off the court, he's probably a really laid back, down to earth guy, at least it seems. You see with a whole bunch of athletes, how they turn on. You see with entertainers, how they turn it on. And so I want to ask you this question. What's that alter ego version of you? What's that confident version of you? I'm talking about that you, whatever environment that you're in where you feel maximum confidence, you got to pull that out of you more because you're probably right now living in your limitations. You're probably right now living in your blame. You probably allowed society to program you to think that you're less. It's time for you to reprogram yourself. It's time for you to reprogram yourself in greatness, reprogram yourself in courage. And the first step of doing that is going to prove it to yourself. You got to deconstruct all these outside influences that told you that you weren't going to be nothing. Whether it was people's opinions, maybe it was your teacher, maybe it was just circumstances, and you started to believe that. It's time for you to stop believing the lies and reprogram yourself. Go prove to yourself that you can do it. So think about the times when you're most confident. I don't care, maybe it's when you're going to talk to a girl or a guy. Maybe it's when you're, you're cutting your grass. Maybe it's when you're fixing your car. But we all have that confidence in us, and it's in us. But we need to be able to train ourselves to pull it out when we need it. And I do that. And so I know that there's times where Trent is needed. The caring Trent, the Trent that, you know, wants to take care of the world, wants to take care of my family. But then I also know T. Shell is also needed. And that's the person that steps up on stage fearless. That's the person right now that's making this video fearless. That's the person in the gym that's fearless. That's the person on the football field that's fearless, that doesn't care what comes up against him. He's gonna stand up even if his back's against the wall. You gotta be able to call on that person. You gotta stop living that lesser version of you. For whatever reason it was, maybe somebody broke your heart, maybe somebody did you wrong and you believed it, maybe your parents didn't give you a good example, and you believed that was you. Reprogram yourself today, right now. Put yourselves in an environment where that superhero you comes out. Maybe it's the gym, maybe it's in nature, maybe it's working out, maybe it's when you're creating. Put yourselves in those environments as much as you can because those environments hold energy and i don't want you to prove to anybody else i don't want you to prove it to me prove it to yourself because you have that you in you yeah that you that's in the shower singing when nobody's around you have that you in you that you that doesn't really care maybe you don't show this side to other people but you know it's inside of you you have that superhero in you and the world needs that i'm not telling you to be something that you're not to create some alter ego that doesn't even exist in you I'm telling you to pull that greatness out of you and walk in that greatness, walk in that confidence. And I don't care who it makes uncomfortable. You ain't living life to make people comfortable. People ain't gonna like you, people ain't gonna agree with you, people gonna talk about you. Why are you so happy? Why are you so confident? Why are you so full of life? My question is, why aren't you not? So if people are gonna judge you, then you might as well be your greatest version of yourself and let them judge that. But you gotta stop sleeping on your life and you gotta stop programming yourself to settle for less. Programming yourself with failure. Program yourself with limitations. You're living a life that's probably not yours, that this world gave you. It's time for you to get back to the greatest you. Like I say at the end of every single video, it all starts with you. Find that art to ego. Comment below who that person's gonna be. And I want you to walk in that every single day if you can. It's rehab time. Let's get it.
Hey, what's up, Rehabs Across the World, Trent here. Thank you for watching our new video. I hope it impacted your life. Listen, we're impacting lives all across the world. I want you to know this. It's because of you. It's because of you supporting the messages and sharing the messages. And speaking about sharing the messages, if this video touched your heart, if it's on your heart, please press share, because I promise you this, there's somebody in the world right now that needs to watch this video. And by you pressing share, you become a hero in their life. I get messages every single day say, Trent, I had no idea what rehab time was yesterday, but my friend shared the video, I saw it on the timeline, and man, did I need it. We're gonna continue to impact the world only with your help. We appreciate you. But like I said in every single video, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.